at the time when I met Gerard, we were specialized in French Art Deco, and this is all that we were doing, 1920s to 1930, 1940 at most. That was really that very strict. And, um, and then I met Hervé van der Straten in Paris one, uh, one day, and uh, introduced by a friend of mine, and uh, we had dinner, and at the end of the dinner I said, you know, I really like your work, I think I would love to introduce a few of your creations. And Gerard was not yet on board. He was a little bit worried that uh, people would not understand and uh, maybe they would, you know, so we made rules and the rules were like it could not be copy. It had to be a genuine uh, creative, uh, you know, uh, creation of, the, of our time and so on and so on. If I'm working with a contemporary designer, it should be fun. We should, you know, it should be exciting. It should be an action. It should not be a war. This is Kiko Lopez. And uh, this is hundreds of hours of firing uh, each piece of uh, glass. But you'll see that some little um, clouds here and there, bubbles, and uh, I just love it. This is a lamp pantograph, that's how it's called, by Lionel Lebovici. So his work often time was taking a, a usual uh, object of everyday life and then transforming it into, into new things. I had seen the work of Neve and I really, really liked the work, but I never poached an artist from another gallery. So after six months of a fail uh, quest, I said, you know, end of it, uh, this is not going anywhere, so uh, it will be that artist or it won't. A few years later, I think uh, one of our artists contacted me and said, you know, Neve Barry, and that's how it started. I think that there's been a huge change in my work, a huge involvement in my work. When I look at the, let's say, the eight years be previous to meeting and working with Benoit, the, the the transition of you know what I was from what I was making to the point where we met was you know changing but not hugely. And then in the, since I've started working with Benoit and with the support of Benoit's you know open-mindedness and his brilliant team. I feel that I finally have a platform where I can really be true to myself and I have a voice here that's respected and supported and so the work I think reflects that. And so it's, it's a really great example to have this piece here and then you look at this piece over here in the eyes of which is my most recent piece in the, in the gallery and you can see that there is a huge transition from this to that. I mean we use you know, contemporary uh, making uh, technology from the point of view of cutting the material, but then everything after that point, and that is a tiny percentage of the making process, is completely made by hand. Uh, so it is literally millimetre by millimetre welded, uh, ground down, hand carved, hand sanded, hand polished. A piece like this, for example, and you know, it, it, it has a simplicity to it. Uh, but this piece, I think, is probably something in the region of a solid six weeks 40 hours a week to make this piece alone. That piece there, I think if I'm not incorrect, probably took somewhere in the region of about 24 weeks to make. You know, all of those curved vessels are all hand hammered from flat sheet bronze. Um, and then the diffusion panels and, and then the pillowed forms are also hand hammered. So there's a huge amount of work and time craftsmanship that goes into making all of the pieces. When I left, graduated from college, I actually did my primary degree in ceramics. I left college and haven't touched clay ever since, but I had a studio, I moved into a studio with some friends and there was a welder, a welding machine in the corner and I picked it up and I taught myself how to weld. The first thing I ever made in metal was a sculpture, a light sculpture, and the second thing I made was a piece of furniture. But then I parked that and I, I really focused on light and lighting and um, built up my skill set and my aesthetic working through light and, and, and metal. Not, not bronze all of the time, but metal. And then in the last few years, I really felt like I wanted to make another piece of furniture again. And I started to develop some ideas and tested and, you know, working in the studio, trying different things. And so this is the first piece of furniture in 30 years.